my guitar rig has been known to change from tour to tour. This current version seems to be covering all the different eras of, of sounds that I need to, um, to pull from. The, the thing that I use now is a, a fractal axe effects and the audience gets to hear my sound from the PA system uh, and it's a much more uh, defined sound than just something that's being thrown off the stage. In the end, the, the finished uh, recordings like the front house sounds um, really sound like the records. We try to be very evocative of the different eras, so if we're doing something from the 60s, it really sounds like that. The main thing that I've had to try to figure out is, you know, not only get the right amplification kind of sounds and effect sounds, but then how do I give the audience the best possible listening experience? I wanted to recreate the full range of all the frequencies that I would have if I was just listening on high quality studio monitors, and that's why uh, I'm using the, um, these right here, the QSC KW series because they have plenty of uh, headroom to allow me to, to do all of the, the wide uh, range of sounds that are uh, within this whole body of work. So I tried a, a, a bunch of different monitors uh, for this fractal setup, um, and I've uh, used different things in the past, but uh, they, they ran out of headroom. The, the sounds that I use um, sometimes there's a lot of low end, sometimes you know you really want to have the detail in, in the high end and, and, but without hurting somebody. I needed something that was going to reproduce what I was hearing on my studio speakers at home when I was programming the sounds and uh, previously I, I wasn't able to, to get that until I started working with the, the QSC stuff because it really has all of the full range depth and clarity and headroom that uh, is required to have it feel right and be uh, clean and punchy, not having this punishing assault on, on someone. You know, that's, that's the thing is uh, to really make good music, you have to be inspired by the sound. These wedges allow me to get that natural feedback that you would get from a regular guitar cabinet. It's the best of all worlds because I get the full range frequency response, but I also get the, the feel of pushing enough air so that it feels like a, a, a guitar cabinet. I definitely uh, have noticed the difference between using these wedges versus the ones I was using before. It does have more response with articulation with the things that I play and the, the nuances that I can get by uh, inducing feedback that you would expect from uh, a guitar amp speaker setup. This current setup is the, the best that I've had that, that recreates the feel and the sound. You know, in the end, when you listen to the sound, you would never be able to tell that it's not an amplifier and not all of these things. There's always going to be people that love the tube amps and, and all of those kinds of things. And, you know, I love all those things too. But to do what is required to recreate all these sounds, I used to have two refrigerator sized racks with all kinds of outboard gear four amps, you know, uh, two 4x12 cabinets and some other speakers. And all of that stuff is, uh, is prone to, you know, have problems when it travels around. Not only that, it's really expensive to, to travel with. I'm actually happier with the sounds that I get from the digital rig versus what I was getting from the analog rig. So for me, it's a, a great improvement all the way around because I have so much more flexibility. You know, for me, it's it's like a whole brave new world, and it's very exciting, and, and I'm inspired by it. At this point, the technology is is at a place where you can take your favorite amplifier and your favorite speaker, and then you can do certain things to capture the actual sound of your own amp and your own speaker. At the end of the day, you're really not going to be able to tell uh, the difference in in a recording at all, and the feel is right there as well. There's a lot of people that are switching to this kind of thing because the technology is improving so rapidly and uh, you know the fact that you can have it be something that you can listen to in the full range frequency response that's uh, that's the ideal situation you know it really it translates direct to your recordings when you're in the studio and then right uh, on stage into the PA. The rig that I've developed uh, 
has several little extra accoutrements, but realistically, I could just use just the fractal and these wedges and get at least 85% of all of the things that I need to do uh, to do this show. The other stuff is just frosting. 